Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make an intro because this guy right here, Nose Crazy, requested how'd you make the intro. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Uh, it's the intro that I just, that you just saw in the beginning of this video. So yeah, it was pretty cool. It had my logo and everything. So what you're going to need to do is go to templatemonster.com. This is the main page right here. Just click on Flash Intro Templates. Um, pick whatever template you want. Make sure that it's not in HD though, because those are hard to edit and sometimes they don't, they don't even work. And you're also going to need this program right here, a Flash. The link will be in the description for uh, Adobe Flash CS4. And you're also going to need SWF Decompiler. It will make it so that you can edit it with this program, Flash. So let me just download this right here. Click on View on whatever video you want that is not in HD. And once you get to this page, do not click on Buy It or whatever because you're going to get it for free, guys. So click on View. Click on Page Source. Go up here to edit and click on find. As you can see this little toolbar pops up and click on find and type in M-O-N-S and then this will pop up. It will highlight M-O-N-S. Scroll to the side until you get to here and this little parentheses right here highlight after that to HTTP from all the way there to right before .html then click on control C or right click and click on copy now all you have to do is make a new tab control control T is for a new tab and you just paste it in there guys paste it in there and click on uh, I mean type in dot SWF and this will pop up So, there's the intro. Yeah, it'll say play intro, but we're going to make it so it automatically plays, guys. So, click on save page as up here in file. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop as intro. Oops. Intro. And make sure you put .swf and click on save. So just let my browser save that, and it will scan for viruses from this file. And it says that uh, it has been downloaded, so you can just exit out of your web browser. And make sure you visit my channel and press this yellow button right here. Okay, exit out of your web browser. Uh, I won't. I won't save it, I'll just quit. Then open up Swift Decompiler. Uh, I have it up here. Just let me type it in real quick right here. Okay, SWF, and it should pop up. SWF. So think SWF decompiler. It should have a 30-day trial. Uh, it uh, that link will be in the description for the SWF decompiler. So just open that up and wait for it to load up. Okay, guys. So you just have to drag this intro. Since you downloaded it to your desktop, just click on your desktop and drag the intro into this box right here and just check that and check these export as an FLA and export the resources and the export path just click on here and this will pop up scroll up until you click on desktop again and click on OK OK guys so just click on export now and it will export your uh, FLA file so you can edit it in flash okay so it's almost done exporting 
just wait up a second so okay it's done so you can exit out of this now and just open up this intro folder that they created for you and click on intro double click on it so it'll open it up in flash and just wait for flash to load up okay so it says that the missing font warning uh, I'm just gonna press use a default font because I don't really care what font I use I just want it to have a good intro okay so just play through this clip by dragging this little square and wait until you get to this right here make sure you have the actions layer highlighted so just right when this little f flag is right here right click on this first action or the second action that you find third I don't know just look through the actions on the actions layer and wait until you get uh, find this stop action it usually stops the clip but you don't want that because it'll just make it so that the video intro it'll just stop it right at the beginning so you don't want that alright so I just deleted the stop action and after you get that stop action you just highlight up here just click on that and drag all the way down just keep on dragging it until you get to the very bottom and delete everything before that just click right click on it and click on remove frames now this is gonna autoplay just let me preview it now uh, okay to cut out the little words on the bottom you go down here to the text and highlight until you find the ones that you want to delete like loading delete that on delete that that's for the sound sound on and then the sound off uh, I don't delete control because I've never seen it uh, don't delete this though because this is actually in the video and it's the text that you want to show to your viewers uh, don't delete that uh, delete that delete the ones that you think that are going to be annoying to your viewers and that are not needed like play the video and stuff and to edit your text just double click on the text that you want to change get this text tool in the corner and just highlight the text delete it and go to uh, make this properties tab pop up and make sure it's static text too uh, I'll make it size let's see size 20 just because the text is by itself make you can change the color of it make it bold change the font I'll change the font just to show you guys what I'm talking okay and I can just type anything I want like okay uh, watch the videos and yeah and you can make it like that I guess and I'll make it green just because I want green I guess <laughs> okay so just test the movie and you'll see watch the videos uh, I'll pause the video edit the text and show you the full intro okay guys so I have created all of the text that I want and I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay so that was the intro and so to export it you're just gonna go to file export export movie name it whatever you want I'll just call it test call uh, make the sound format whatever you want I'll just make it this and just make it so it is a video click on OK then click on OK again and your intro is done thanks for watching this video please rate comment and subscribe if you like my videos thank you for watching W Tech Support W